I've been living with the uh, quote that I read, author unknown. Uh, I understand that I will never understand however I stand. And uh, I just, I, I don't know what to feel, you know, shame, embarrassment on behalf of uh, things that are happening in uh, communities all across America. And uh, hopefully that, you know, we can all make uh, some impact um, to um, help, help our uh, black brethren across uh, this country. I grew up in a town of 1300. Uh, there were no people of color. My uh, period of enlightenment was when I arrived in in college. All right, I I went to a uh, football team that um, was probably 50% people of color, and um, my you know closest friends were from the inner city of Chicago. East St. Louis, Detroit, Washington, D.C., which were our hotbeds of recruiting. And um, I was not a uh, player that had any business uh, being there based on talent, right? It was based on grit and uh, toughness. And uh, my brothers took me in. And I appreciate that to this day. There were no there was no sense of color at that point, right? You just, you just, uh, you're out there to play. That's the beauty of sports. E everyone was accepting of each other. Uh, we all had a common goal. Um, we learned about each other. I, I, I uh, today and the last couple of days have been uh, reflecting on with a friend, uh, Scott Roberts Alexander, who I met on the first day our strong safety from uh, Proviso East High School talks about Doc Rivers incessantly. Um, he is the most you know generous person uh, that you one will ever meet. He calls my mother to this day, forty years later. Uh, he calls her on my birthday, on her birthday, on holidays, uh, and and uh, he he brought me in. He made me a member of the team. He took me to, uh, you know, black fraternity dances. He, you know, he, he, he did things with me that uh, I have obviously had never experienced before in my life. And uh, I mentioned the other day with great sadness, one of the things he told me early on in his uh, insurance sales career was that when he would get a call, he would go out and knock on a door in Chicago and the door uh, was opened and it was a white family behind the door, uh, he immediately um, discounted his ability to make the sale because he was an African-American male. And uh, there's just extreme sadness to me about that to this day, knowing that he is one of the most wonderful people I've ever met. I could be put across uh, the table and break bread with any person in the world and that we could find common ground in a matter of minutes. And I truly believe that. And uh, I think that, um, I, you know, I, I hope that others believe that too. That's, that's my hope for, you know, our future. I, I think it can, it can happen and, that, and that's what we need to do is, you know, sit down and talk about it. Chris Carrico, uh, this is my seventh season with the uh, San Antonio Spurs organization.